Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 10th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be checking out how we can add comments to our CSS code in the master CSS document, right? So I've got two files here again and uh, one of these files has the .css extension and this is my master document and this is, the, this is also the document in which I have my comments. So comments in CSS uh, work pretty much the same way as they work in C++. So the simplest way in which you can incorporate a comment in your CSS code is by using a combination as follows. So you type in your forward slash and then you type in an asterisk, right? This is also the multiplication symbol. And then you have to put in the same combination but in the reverse order to terminate your comment. So you type in the forward slash and the asterisk uh, to begin your comment and then you type in the asterisk and the forward slash to end your comment. And uh, it could appear anywhere in your CSS document. The brow browser is not going to you know, make any sense out of it. So it's just going to leave it as it is and it's going to process your CSS code. So I have an HTML file as well, which I'm going to use to show you uh, that the browser doesn't mess with your comment. So in this document, I have uh, linked to the external style sheet, of course. And then within the body section, I have, uh, you know, an H1 level heading, which has the text do good and throw it in the river. And then I also have a paragraph that has the text, if God won't see it, the fish surely will. And uh, in this document, I have applied the following rules. So for the H1 level heading, I've changed the font style to italic and I've changed the color to blue. And for the paragraph, I've changed the background color of the paragraph to yellow. So I'll make sure both these files are saved and I'll go to the folder in which I have this file. So I'll open the comments.html file to see this. So both the rules have been applied to uh, the headings as well as uh, the paragraph. And uh, this was just to illustrate that the browser ignores the comment and it doesn't throw an error at you if you try to execute a file that has a CSS comment in it. So that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll check out uh, some more features of CSS and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, take care.